Hello, Joe. How are you? Ready for some streaming? I haven't streamed for a few hours, so it's, it seemed like it was time. Seemed like it was time. Thought we'd use some more $1 bills tonight. About 500. That's the plan at least. the house all to myself all afternoon as well. There's something good about that. We are going to be searching some one dollar bills looking for fancy serial numbers and star notes. That's the plan tonight. Hello Toby Blanchard. Hello Corey. How are you? We got 500, there's 400, and there's the fifth hundred. We'll do a little searchy search here and see if we can find some good ones. These are Loomis teller straps. Came from directly from Loomis, who provides coins and I guess uh, currency now to uh, some of the banks. The Brinks does the same, they're competitors with each other. So uh, we're going to be looking for uh, star notes, fancy serial numbers. Right now I'm going to get all these bills going in the same direction so that they're easier to search. And I'll show you a few examples of what we've been finding. And uh, we'll see if we can't just uh, get lucky and find a really good one. Uh, dollar bill serial numbers is something I've only been doing for the last three months. Uh, they've been, become very collectible. I was have been doing uh, coin searching on YouTube for the last almost four years. And we do short videos on coin hunting every single day. We did a, our major live stream of the week earlier today on uh, coin hunting. We searched... Uh, Boxes a half dollars. Did a little auction at the end. So I thought before I hit the sack tonight, I would search 500 ones and see what we could come up with. Coin hunting and uh, currency searching is a great hobby. I enjoy it. Hello, Michael Wills. Pretty much, Michael. And that's with them messing me up. I'd have 2,000 more, but they gave me 2,000 new ones. So I'm going to have to try to sell on eBay because I've got uh, $2,000 of uncirculated dollar bills that supposedly are worth $140 per strap of 100 So I've got to uh, get those sold off because uh, obviously there's nothing to search. All right. I have them all organized, heading the same direction. Let's get started with this stream, see what we can find. I'll try to keep you down here in the action. If I get to where you can't see something, yell at me and let me know. A little bit higher. All right, that'll work. I am looking at the date down here. I'm looking for anything 2000 uh, before 2000 because that would give me some extra things to search. I'm looking for a star right here that will make it a star note, print it as a replacement note. And I'm looking for a fancy combination of numbers up here to make it a fancy serial number. So we will uh, see what happens. Appreciate everyone being here. If there's anyone here for the first time and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. We put out a lot of content each and every week. We do daily short videos on coin hunting. We've got one that uh, I think releases in about four minutes. 
on uh, some penny finds we had. But that is every night. We also are doing daily live streams right now on either coin hunting or dollar bill searching. Some of the things we're looking for are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. It's also my intent, if we have uh, enough people hanging around at the end of the stream, this will take about an hour and a half, that we will give away our best find of the night or a replacement if I find something I've never found before. Like a solid bill, uh, one number all the way across, a ladder, all the numbers in order. Chances of that are not very good, but you never know. These Loomis straps, we haven't been finding as many finds, but we have been finding uh, some quality finds in these. So I don't know if that's coincidence because I haven't searched a ton of them yet. Or if that's the way they run, I don't know. But I'm looking for the date down here. I'm looking for anything before 2000 because in 1988, uh, Series A, 1993 and 1995, uh, they printed notes out off of rolls of paper instead of sheets of paper. And if we find one of those, those carry additional value, so we'll be looking for that. Thank you, Corey. I hope so, too. Let's see if we can't find something good. We searched uh, boxes of half dollars earlier today and had our auction. But I thought before I went to bed, since I'm a terrible insomniac anyway, I would do a short dollar bill search of $500 bills, five $100 straps and see what I could find. And we're off to a slow start so far, but uh, we'll find something. At the end of this first strap, I will show you some of our best finds from the last few months. I have only been doing this for about three months on the dollar bill searches, and I really thought I hesitated doing it because I really enjoy the coin searching. And I thought, man, I'm going to be bored stiff if I search dollar bill serial numbers. But in all honesty, I have fallen in love with it. I have found a lot of bills that are uh, unique and worth uh, money above face value. So everything we will be keeping tonight will be like this bill right here. How's that for timing? That's a star. Any bill that ends with a star, it's called a star note. It was printed as a replacement note. Uh, for damaged and uh, misprinted bills. This is a 2009 note, so when we find a star note, we go over to the website called uh, mycurrencycollection.com. And uh, it has a star note lookup on it. We key in the 2009, the $1 denomination, then the serial number starting with the B1050305. Now, star notes, a recent phenomenon. These have become very collectible and they're going for a double face value on eBay. And usually, when they printed star notes, they went out in a run, a print run of 3.2 million. So, we're going to look this up. It's going to tell us how many the, uh, the print run was. And we're looking for something below 3.2 million. And as most are, this one has a run size of 3.2 million, which on the heat chart down here has us pegged over here in the frozen tundra of white. We want to get something out in this area. The good news is that doesn't hurt the value of our bill any. It just doesn't make it worth any extra. So we will hang on to that. That's our first find of tonight. Have two $1 bills with 666 uh, three sixes in a row or three of the same number in a row aren't really worth uh, anything additional, Wog. Wogmog. Um, if you find quads, at least four numbers in a row to start or end the bill, that carries a little additional value. And if you uh, find uh, uh, blocks of five numbers or more, uh, those carry additional value. But the numbers seven and eight are the two most collectible numbers that uh, people, collectors, are looking for. And they pay the biggest premium for those. Hello, Copper Al. Good to see you. Hello, Salmon. Wogmug, thanks for being here, though. 
You know the insomniac I am, Copper Owl, I decided before I went to bed, I would uh, do one more stream today and search some $1 bills. I just found our first find. It was a star note. Boy, this was almost something. 30, 70, 50, 88. Really? Now, the last eight is raised a little out of alignment with the rest of the serial number, so that does uh, carry a little bit of value, but not enough for me to keep right now. You're welcome. Check your change for sure. Pay in cash so you get change. Check your change. You most definitely can find dollar bills worth money. This one is a birth date note, July 25th of the year 1099. So that's a historical birth date note. And I'm not aware of anything magnificent that happened on 1099. If I was really interested, I'd Google it and find out. That could have some value. If a person would find a historical date like 07-04-1776, now that would be pretty cool and have additional value. Let's see what else we can come up with tonight. We usually do average over one star note per strap. We've already found one in this strap. I have found as many as 10 star notes in the strap. And again, recently, in the last six months, star notes have become very, very collectible. And uh, <clears throat> the $1 star notes are uh, going for, if they're in good shape, going for double face value on eBay. I haven't sold any on eBay, but I do look up the prices they're selling for. And since when I went to my bank this week, instead of giving me $1 bills that were circulated, they gave me some $1 bills that were uncirculated. So uh, I uh, am going to try to sell those on eBay. So we'll see. Fancy note with a cool factor of 9908. That's cool, Michael Locke. And there is a website out there. You can go look up the cool factor. Sometimes the cool factor matters the way they measure it. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but a 9909 ought to be a good bill. Ought to be a really good bill. What I'm looking for is I'm looking right here. I'm looking at the date on the bill, looking to see if it's an older bill, because some older bills, just by being older, carry additional value. I'm looking in the spot where the C is to see if it's a star instead of a C, because if it is, it carries additional value by being a star. And then I'm looking for a combination of notes, like are scrolling across the bottom, some of the examples, and trying to find what we call a fancy serial number. Anything that uh, is going above face value right now, and this phenomenon is new enough that uh, really eBay is kind of the guide on pricing. I have a 1964 nickel with a D on the back. Do you know? Well, the D on a 64 nickel, the D should be on the back. On the back. Uh, beside Monticello, it should be at the far right of Monticello is where the uh, mint mark should be. Uh, but if it's got a D, now sometimes people will counter strike, like a lot of uh, aftermarket companies will counter strike a coin and put like a, a brand on it, uh, or they'll put a date to commemorate something like an anniversary, uh, like uh, 50 years after President Kennedy's death, you'll find some half dollars that have a uh, date stamped on it commemorating that. So it could be what we call a counter strike. That's probably what you have. <clears throat> Turn the bell off. Oh no, Jeremy Foster. Good to see you. Hello, Riley. Happens to be a $100 bill. Nice. The problem with $100 bills is you have less people that will buy them. $100 bills are a lot harder to sell, uh, fancy serial numbers and star notes, than dollar bills. Like I've talked about, a star note and a $1 bill that's crispy uncirculated is going for double face value, $2.00. A $100 bill that's crispy and has a star note uh, is worth maybe $110. Um, <clears throat> and the best place to sell those would either be at a coin show or uh, eBay is really your market to sell it on right now. And the problem with that is you have the fees, the eBay fees and the shipping, the insurance, 
uh, as well, and to insure a $100 bill is going to cost you a little bit more than to insure a $1 bill. So it's hard to make uh, any money on basic uh, star notes on a uh, $100 bill. Now, if you've got one with a 99% fancy rate, uh, depending on what it is, uh, you might have less trouble selling that. I usually only keep them if they're uh, five dollar bills or less, unless I find a if I found a crazy ten dollar bill like solid number seven all the way across. Yeah, I'd keep that for sure. For sure. Yeah, it should have the mint mark on the far right side of Monticello. If it's a, uh, if it doesn't have a mint mark, it'd be a P. But it should have a D or an S over there. Just telling you which mint it was made at. D is Denver. If you're here for the first time, please do consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously, and it doesn't cost you a cent. 882-44464, almost a trinary note. A trinary note would be one that only had three numbers in the serial number. This one, unfortunately, has four with the eights, fours, two, and six. So it's not one we keep. But it was close to something good. Appreciate y'all popping in late on a Saturday night with us. Thought I would do 500 ones before I went to bed. Phyllis Brow just subscribed. Thank you, Phyllis. And welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. I hope I didn't butcher your name too bad. We do have a uh, an AI bot that is supposed to identify all of our new subscribers. But it doesn't always work. And uh, it's a Streamlabs bot. And they're aware of the problem and they got their best people working on it. So anyone that's subscribed and it didn't recognize you and pop you on the screen, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you're here. Coin from night. I have two $5 bills. Are they special $5 bills, Margaret? Amanda Lopez, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. We're glad to have you. I have a coin from 1969 that has what looks like bumps. Hmm. Sounds like post-mint damage, most likely, Albert. Not something that happened while they were uh, making the dollar. So that probably would hurt the value more than uh, help it. I'm not aware of any mint error where one would have bumps. Um, a lot of times you'll find a coin that somebody has chemically altered. A... Uh, put them in chemicals to try to clean them or they do experiments and sometimes you'll end up with some that will uh, bubble the metal that's what that sounds like to me but I don't know I'm just guessing I don't know for sure I am sorting out this next strap of uh, $101 bills before I search them so they're all going the same direction it's amazing how many different directions they can get them to go for $100 bills. I swear it's 3,000 different directions. And I don't think mathematically that's possible, but it seems like they try to put them in here as crooked as possible sometimes. And yes, this is something I could do before the stream so you didn't have to watch me sort them and get them organized in the right direction. But if I did that, I might accidentally see something before you guys, and I want to keep my finds as authentic as possible. And I want to see it the same time you do, and share your, uh, the excitement if we get a really good find at the same time. So that's why I wait and do it on stream. Alright, we've got, got them all going the same direction. Now we do. All right, before I do this second strap, let me show you some of the examples of what we've been finding. <clears throat> Here's some of our better uh, examples from the last couple months. Hello, Moon Over Miami. 
It is a fun, fun hobby, Phyllis. It is a treasure hunt for sure. I've got my 13-year-old and 11-year-old grandsons involved in this, and they just love it. And I figure any time I've got them doing something not on the computer, uh, not on a video game, is a good day. This is a really cool note, and I've only found two of these. This is called a binary note. A binary note only has two numbers in the serial number, and these things are worth around 20 bucks. 50, 50, 50, double zero. I call this my Hawaii 5 note. Fives and zeros making up a binary note. That's a good one. This is a good one as well. So uh, I always look at the date. That's a 1969B. And just the fact that this is a 1969B gives it a value above face value. Now there aren't a ton of resources out there on dollars the way there are on coins, but this is a book, Standard Guide to Small Size U.S. Paper Money, 1928 to date, 6th edition written by Dean Oakes and John Schwartz. And I guess I could actually pull this up a little bit so you can see it better. But this is a good resource, and like that 1969 I found, I could look it up in here and get an idea of what the value is. It was between five and eight dollars, I don't honestly remember, but it was worth keeping, certainly. So we hung on to it. This is another old note that I uh, found. Uh, the date caught me, 1963B, and I was born in 1963, so that caught me. And then someone in the chat says, hey, that's a bar note. And I'd heard about bar notes, and I'd known about them, but it's signed by Joseph W. Barr, who was only the Secretary of Treasury for 28 days. So if you find a Joseph W. Barr signed dollar, uh, you've got something that's uh, worth a uh, premium above face value. So that's the only one of those I've ever found, but that was really cool. A $20 bill starting in 420. It actually has more than one star in it. Uh, Seeds of the Wayside, are you just saying it starts in 420 and because it's 420, you think that's cool? This is called a birth date note, uh, July 17th of 2019. So if you've got a child or a grandchild that's getting ready to be five years old, I've got their birth date note. And uh, these crazy things are going for $10 or $20 or even more uh, on eBay right now. People are wanting to collect a bill with their birth date on it. This is one that we always look for. Any note that ends in a star means it was printed as a replacement segment of notes to replace uh, bills that get damaged or misprinted. And the uh, notes ending in a star have become highly collectible. Uh, you always want to check your change. If you've got a star note that's in decent shape, it's uh, carrying a value above face value. On eBay, these are going for $2 or more. We always look them up. And we looked them up to see the print run size, because usually star notes were printed in a run size of 3.2 million, but it is possible to find them in much lower print runs, and that can make them even more valuable. Interesting. Uh, Seeds of the Wayside, you should send me a picture of that. Um, if you type in exclamation email, you will get my email address and you can email me a picture of it and I'd be glad to take a look at, at it and give you my opinion. I don't claim to be an expert, but uh, I will work hard to find out at least where you can research next because I've never heard of one with more than one star on it. This bill has a block of five sevens. That's the good news. Bad news is it's not in very good shape. Good news is any bill with a block of five of the same number in a row carries additional value. And sevens, which are considered fortunate in U.S. culture, and eights, which are considered fortunate in Asian culture, are the two most sought-after block of, blocks of numbers. So they carry value above face value. Uh, this is probably the most valuable build that I have found so far. And I missed it, actually, in the stream. One of, a few of the people in my chat found it. 1579. 9751. This is called a radar note or also known as a palindrome. 
It's a note that reads the same front to back and back to front, 1579, 1579. On top of that, it starts with a B, it ends with a B. B1579, B1579. So I've come to be call this a super radar or super palindrome note, and I cannot find a comparable to this on eBay to even get a price on it. And like anything else, you can list anything on eBay for any price you want. It's what somebody will pay for it that will dictate what it's worth. Um, but uh, for right now, I'm just going to hang on to it because I think it is super cool. Here's a, another birthday note and something else. It's actually a birth date note. May 20th of 1957. Were you born May 20th of 1957? Uh, getting ready to be, what, 43 and 24, 67 years old uh, in uh, May? If so, I have your birth date note. This is also considered a headstone or tombstone note, born in 1957, deceased in the year 2005. And either way, birth date or tombstone note, it has collectability and it has a value above face value. Hello, Dad Hunts Coins. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, I like this note, 80, 70, 70, 80. It's called a bookend note. It starts with 80. It ends with 80. It also has the 70, 70 in the middle. It has alternating zeros. And it only uses the numbers 8, 0, and 7 in the serial number, which makes it a trinary note. All things which make this worth more than face value. And I just think it's cool looking. And it has the 8s and 7s, two of the numbers that are uh, sought after by collectors. Any bill that starts with at least four zeros is considered a low serial number. This one, four zeros, 97.50, and very low or very high serial numbers carry a value above face value as well. This is a cool note. I've only found a few of these. If this note had been 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, would have been pretty obvious, and that would be a ladder note. But this bill has zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has eight different numbers, but in numerical order, but not in numerical order on the bill. This is called a broken ladder, and broken ladders have a nice value above face value as well. Cleverly named bill here, if you can guess, 3042, 3042. This is called a radar, uh, repeater, called a repeater. And surprisingly, these go for a nice value above face value on eBay. One of my favorite builds here, a block of five fives in a row, making it carry additional value. And if you look at that last three, that last three is raised out of alignment with the rest of the serial number. That also adds value to it. It only has three numbers in the serial number, fives, one nine, and a couple threes, making it a trinary note. And if you look closely, that first five has a little more ink on it than the rest of the fives. And uh, that's just called an over ink number, and uh, that adds a tiny bit of value. This is the second of two binary notes that I've ever found. Three, 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 nine, three, nine, nine, three, only threes and nines. Uh, only two numbers making up the serial number, making it what we call a binary note, and that carries a value of around 20 bucks on eBay right now. Turn a dollar into $20, I'll do that all day long, also known as a tombstone, that's right. Hey, that's okay, Dad Hunts Coins, no worries. Uh, last one I'll show you is another one that's considered a low serial number, four zeros, and then a 6086. This is the lowest serial number I've found. I uh, saw somebody, Rob Fine's Treasure, found one the other day that started with five zeros and was like 507. That would be more valuable, but uh, that one it has carries a value above face value as well. So let's search our second strap of $100 bills, and let's see if we can find any more good ones to put in our keeper pile. And what I'm going to do at the end of tonight's stream, and the stream will take about an hour and a half, I'm going to give away to someone in the stream that's still here uh, our best find of the night, unless it's one I've never found, and then I'll replace it with something else. Something nice out of my collection. Johnny Primo, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. We're glad to have you. All right. 
here we go. I'm looking here for a date, uh, ideally uh, uh, before the year 2000. And then I'm looking here for a star, and I'm looking at the numbers here to see if I've got a fancy serial number, like this one starts 3434. If it had gone 3434-3434, would have been really cool. Would have been a binary, a four pairs, a repeater. Uh, it would have had a ton of stuff going for it. I also look at this green seal to make sure it's there and uh, not out of place. And then there's a second serial number on the left side of the bill. Oscar Villatoro, welcome. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. Anyone that's here that's not subscribed, we would appreciate a sub. It uh, doesn't cost you a thing. It helps us out tremendously. We put out uh, daily content, daily videos on coin hunting, daily short videos on coin hunting. I'm also right now, except for Sundays, doing daily live streams on dollar bill uh, hunts, on fancy serial numbers, or on coin hunting. We have major streams every Saturday at 2 o'clock. I stream for five hours at 2 o'clock today, searched several boxes of half dollars. We found uh, two 90% silver half dollars in the first box and uh, one 40% silver. We also found a colorized coin. So we had a good hunt earlier today and then we had an auction as we always do on Saturdays. Here's another star note. That star signifies they printed this as a replacement note for damaged or misprinted bills. And uh, when they do that, it, they usually do a print run of 3.2 million. So what we do when we find one of these, we go over to this page right here. That is uh, mycurrencycollection.com. And it has a star note lookup. You put in the denomination, $1, and then the year. This is a 2017A. Chase E just subscribed. Thank you, Chase E, and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. This is a 2017 A series dollar. So we will come down here. We have to enter the entire serial number, starting with the letter F151090101. Star. And again, most of these were printed in runs of 3.2 million. So we're looking for one that might have been in a lower print run. Let's see. Unfortunately, this one was in a print run of 3.2 million, which is what I always expect it's going to be. So in the heat chart that's down here on this site, it's got it over here in the white permafrost. No heat whatsoever. It's not a less rare star note. However, that doesn't take any value away from this note. This is still a star note. It is still in crispy uh, condition. And that note is, uh, would sell all day long on eBay for at least $2. So that's our second star note so far. So you got to like that. All right. And that's our second star note out of two straps so far. Each strap has $101 bills. And we average a little bit over one star note per strap. So we're kind of tracking that right now. It would be nice to find a real fancy serial number. Thermo Redneck with a Paycheck. I like that name. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. We appreciate you. We are looking for fancy serial numbers and star notes. We've got two star notes already. We haven't found a real fancy serial number yet tonight, but we're going to search $501 bills. This is only our second strap, so it will take us to 200 And anything that, uh, like that one right there, that bill has value above face value. This is a birth date note. And it's a birthday note two ways, June 12th of 1931 or December 6th of 1931. Is June 12th or uh, December 6th of 1931 your birth date? If it is, I've got your birth date note. It seems crazy to me, but you know, the market dictates value. And right now on eBay, birth date notes are going for $10, $20 or higher if they're in good shape. People are wanting to get a $1 note with the date they were born on it. So we hang on to all of those. 
we hang on to all of those. Every once in a while I'll take my envelope out because I've probably got 50 plus birthday notes now. And I'll go through them in a the stream in case I've got someone's birthday note. Because if so, if you're a member of our channel or someone that watches on a regular basis, I would make you a good deal on it, much less than you could buy it on eBay. This was almost a broken ladder. Zero, one, two, three, two fours, five, six. Had one of those fours been a seven, we would have had what we call a broken ladder. So that is a close miss. Joaquin Serpens, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. We are glad to have you here. <clears throat> we are searching for fancy serial numbers and star notes. We got two star notes so far and a birth date note of somebody that's uh, 93 years old, I guess. It could be uh, a parent or a grandparent, or if you're spry, it could be you. All right, this is one some people keep, some people don't. <clears throat> this is called a quad. It's got four of the same number in a row, four threes in a row. Uh, I usually always keep it if the four numbers in a row start the bill or end the bill. Uh, this is called a quad. Uh, I find a lot of them that are in the middle of the bill that are four, a block of four numbers. I also keep them if they're sevens or eights. I will put this in the keeper pile for right now. This is bringing a little bit above face value on eBay, so it is worth keeping. Um, what I do typically, I do an auction every Saturday, and I will keep these and find quads that have every number. You know, four zeros, four ones, through four nines. And then I'll sell the set of uh, ten of them to somebody at a below eBay price. We try to keep our stuff affordable on Paul's spare time. If you're here for the first time, please do consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps me out tremendously. We do put out a bunch of content. You might want to consider turning on the bell notifications because we put out a daily short video on coin hunting. It comes out in the evenings. As a matter of fact, it just came out a little while ago. The one for tonight. We also put it, are doing daily live streams like this right now. We have a goal to uh, get more people acquainted with what we consider the great hobby of coin hunting and currency hunting. Uh, one that you can involve a child in. I do this with my grandchildren. I figure it's time well spent with them. They have fallen in love with it. I have fallen in love with it. We have been streaming on YouTube for about four years now on coins, and we've just started in the last three months also searching dollar bills for fancy serial numbers, because this is somewhat of a new phenomenon in the last six months where the uh, fancy serial numbers and star notes have really gone up in value. I was born December 6, 1976. Well, we'll keep an eye out for that one. Let me know if we find it. Let me know if we find it. I've got within eight days of finding one of my grandson's birth date notes. September of uh, uh, 2010, I was only eight days off. And that's crazy close. I mean, you really don't want to keep a birthday note that's uh, eight days from your own birthday, though. But you know, pretty cool that I was within eight days of it. I get my dollar bills from uh, a couple of my local banks here that we have a relationship with. We pick up coins from them every week. A historical birthday note in a lot of ways. October 15th of the year 1002. February 10th of the year 1510, October 2nd of the year 1510. I'm not aware of any of those dates being historically significant, so I won't keep it, but a cool note nonetheless. If it did have a date with, that was historically significant, it would have a nice value to it, and we certainly would hang on to it. 
but uh, I would most definitely tell you to check your change, check your dollar bills, even your fives, tens, twenties, and hundreds, fifties for a fancy serial number because if you find one or you find a star where that 80 is, you've got something with a little value above face value. There's a birthday note we'll keep. Uh, not the person who wouldn't be still alive, but December 22nd of the year 1900. So it'd be 124 right now. Uh, well, it'd be 123. So we'll keep that. But that could be uh, somebody's uh, parent or grandparent that we end up uh, running into that we know. And that bill is in crispy shape. It's in really good shape. So I hang on to those because it might be uh, important for someone if I've got their mom or dad's grandparents' uh, birth date note. All right, we're getting down to the end of strap two. We're going to do five straps. Each strap has $100. Like I was saying, my uh, banks order these for me every week. I get a few thousand, like at least 3,000 a week to search. Do uh, six different searches of 500 throughout the week. I also get boxes of half dollars, dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters occasionally uh, ordered in for me to search. Well, we've been doing it for the last uh, four years almost. And uh, the grandsons have quite the coin collection. Building up a little college fund should they ever decide they want to sell it. This would be May 12th of 3835 or December 5th of 3835. A little too far out to be any value to me because I won't be around then. But it gives you an idea of what we're looking for. Just a few left. Oh, one more left in this strap. That's going to wrap up strap number two. We've got three straps left to do in tonight's hunt. And my intent is to give away our best find of the night. If we don't have a good find, I will uh, give away a, uh, star, a uh, silver certificate out of my own collection or something else. All you got to do is be here at the end of the stream. Be 18 years of age or older, or 13 years of age with parental permission, and you are eligible to win. And when prompted here in about another 40 minutes or so, uh, you will enter in exclamation G-A-W to be entered in the giveaway, and the computer will pick a winner. And every Saturday during our big stream of the week that starts at 2 and goes at least 5 hours, we give away 5 or 6 prizes every week. So that's one you might want to have the bell notification on to let you know we're streaming on a Saturday. We also have big streams on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. and on Fridays at noon. And those streams, we not only search $501 bills for fancy serial numbers and star notes, we also search a $250 box of dimes looking for silver dimes. We also search a $500 box of half dollar half dollars looking for silver half dollars, proofs, uh, commemoratives, air coins, stickered coins, colorized coins, magic coins, not intended for circulation coins. There's just all sorts of stuff you can find in a box of half dollars. We call those streams the triple play and again that's on uh, Wednesday nights at 8 central and uh, Fridays at 12 noon. So you want to check those out. It is a legal operation, Jake. No dollar bills were harmed in the making of this video. Yeah, the, I, I do stream late occasionally uh, because I have uh, insomnia. And this is actually called my Coinsomniac stream. But I'm doing dollars, so I guess it's like a dollar somniac stream. I have thyroid cancer and had my thyroid removed several years ago, and ever since then, I don't sleep very good. So if I'm not sleeping, I figure that I might as well do something productive. So I used to get up and just hunt coins for myself, and then we got into this YouTube thing, and uh, I decided to start streaming. This is most definitely one that I would keep. This is called a quad. Uh, four eights. Not only is it a quad, it has the four eights in the last four positions, which makes it more valuable. And I said earlier, sevens and eights are the most uh, sought-after collectible uh, numbers on serial numbers. 
So that bill is worth $1.50 to $2 on eBay right now. You're not going to get rich off of it, but it's still a very nice find. One that I would keep. Again, if you just got here, I'm looking right here at the date. I'm looking for a bill that's older than the year 2000. I'm looking for a star right here indicating it's a replacement note. And I'm looking for a fancy combination of serial numbers like our scrolling at the bottom of the screen, some of the examples of things we have found. And there are some fancy serial numbers that we have not found yet. I've never found a solid number where it's one number all the way across. Those are quite valuable. I've never found one that's called the ladder that has the numbers in order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, across the bill. Those are quite valuable. I've never found a web note, but I did just find a star note. Boom, and any of my members here, let me see some stars. When there's a star there, that means it was printed uh, to replace damaged bills and misprinted bills. There's nothing uh, very fancy about that serial number, but just the star makes it collectible right now. And when we find a star note, we go over here to a website called mycurrencycollection.com. You enter in the denomination, it's already there. One dollar bill. This is a 2017 series, not a 2017A. Then we key in the entire serial number. This one starts with a K, 0999-1196. Star notes usually are printed in runs of 3.2 million. Uh, but sometimes they printed them in shorter runs than that, and that's what we're looking for. This is going to tell us how big a print run it was. And it is 3.2 million. That's not disappointing. That's really what you expect. That is way less rare on the heat chart down here. But the good news is that does not make this bill worth any less. It just doesn't add any value to it. It's still one that we keep. And that bill would go for $1.50 to $2 on eBay right now because it's not in perfect shape. That is our third start out. Third star note tonight out of three straps, and we usually do average a little over one per strap. So we're tracking that again tonight. Star notes were initially printed in a ratio of one to a hundred on uh, the regular serial numbers or bills printed. But star notes being collectible are being plucked out uh, very quickly right now. So the rate of finding them is going to go down. You're actually in the peak time right now to look for uh, star notes and fancy serial numbers because really as collecting goes, it's in its infancy. And you can still get bills to search with an expectation of finding star notes and fancy serial numbers or old, older bills. Take a sippy sip here. There's my stars. Thank you for that. Uh, Dad hunts coins, it is. An X or Y ending uh, letter where that N is, is a good note too because those are more rare. I've never found a Y, but I found a couple X's. One of these days, I will get good and educated on what every number or letter means on the dollar bill, and I'll do a video on it. I am still learning, only three months into searching the dollar bills, we know a lot more about coins, because we've been doing that for going on four years, especially half dollars and nickels. Those are our two favorites to search. And uh, like I said, my 13-year-old and 11-year-old grandsons have fallen in love with this hobby. They get so excited when they find something that's a good find. What's a good find? Well, I'll tell you what a good find is. Every week, yep, there are bills that uh, you can read the same upside down and, uh, for, and uh, right side up. And those have a little extra value as well. Every week I buy boxes of pennies from my bank. They come with 50 rolls of 50 cent of pennies in them. And I uh, will open these and search them and I average 10 wheat cents uh, per box. 
and wheat cents right now are worth at least a nickel. Some are worth a lot more than that. Any copper cent, which is any uh, penny that uh, was minted 1981 or before, or part of about half of the 1982s. Tracy Woolen, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. But you can legitimately go out and uh, get some pennies from 1982. You can legitimately go out and get pennies from your bank and search them with the expectation of finding uh, something valuable. We'll occasionally find an Indian head cent in our pennies. I recently found a 1909 VDB, which is a more rare penny that even in bad shape like it was in, a G4 on a scale of 1 to 70, um, it still had a $20 value. Um, I also get boxes of nickels each week. They come with 50 rolls of $2 uh, each nickels uh, in it, 40 nickels per roll. And uh, Buffalo Nickel is absolutely one of my favorite coins. And I assume you all know what a Buffalo Nickel is, but if not, I'll show you one here in a second. And uh, we average one half of a Buffalo Nickel per box that we search. And it blew me away four years ago when I found out you still had a legitimate chance to search a roll of nickels and find a uh, Buffalo Nickel. Hello, Crazy Jim. You also can find uh, silver nickels. They were minted in 1945, 44, 43, and half of 42. And if you find a silver war nickel, uh, they have a dollar thirty-ish to a dollar fifty uh, silver melt value. Uh, you also can find older nickels than that. You can find valuable air nickels. Uh, there's a lot of things you can find. I said I would show you a buffalo nickel. Not to be a liar, I will show you a buffalo nickel. That is a buffalo nickel. That's not one I found, but that's a 1936 buffalo nickel with the Native American on the front. Technically a bison on the back, or a buffalo, because we call them buffalo nickels. Um, and uh, any buffalo nickel you find, uh, even if it, the, in this date here, frequently is worn off of a buffalo nickel, but even dateless are worth 50 cents. And with a full readable date like that, they're worth a buck. You can find some dates that are worth a lot of money. So we fell in love with hunting uh, nickels because there's so many things you can find in a nickel box. How oh, cool, Dad, it's going to. Cool. Um, in dimes, really all you're looking for in the dimes is a silver dime, and any dime 1964 or earlier is silver and has a value of, melt value right now of silver of over $2. We also do find mercury dimes. Those are silver dimes that were minted before the Roosevelt dime. Those are always fun to find. In quarters, you look for silver quarters. Silver quarters have a uh, melt value of around $5 right now. You also look for W Mint Mark quarters because they carry an extra value. They were minted at West Point and they are more rare or less common depending on your perspective. There are a ton of air coins also in quarters to look for. Even some of the more recent uh, quarters they put out have a bunch of airs on them. Half dollars, of course, we look for silver. Anything 1970 or earlier, 1965 to 1970, is 40% silver with a melt value of between three and four dollars. Anything 1964 or earlier is a 90% silver and has a melt value of over ten dollars right now. And those are nice to find, and we found two of those today in one of our half dollar boxes. We look for any S mint market marked half dollars because those are proofs. Uh, we look for uh, coins that have a uh, sticker on them or are colorized to commemorate uh, an event. We found one today from the uh, uh, Texas, the, the uh, not the Civil War, but the, it was a Texas-Mexico uh, War or battle. A really cool one that we found. We find a lot of air notes, double die obverse or double die reverse, not notes, but uh, half dollars, I should say, that have a nice value. So 
So it is a great hobby. Now that note has a way, way, way over inked four on it. Now unfortunately that note is not in good shape at all, but if you find the one that has a number that is over inked that much, it carries a little value above face value. If you ever find a star note that's over inked and the uh, star is filled in, those carry a real nice value, so you want to be on the lookout for those. I've never found one yet, but I keep looking. We are about through our third strap. We're going to do two more straps after this tonight. Then we're going to give away our best find of the night to someone that's in the stream that is 18 or over or 13 or over with parental permission. If you live internationally, I only ship internationally every six months because it's inconvenient and expensive, but a lot of channels won't ship internationally. I will. I'll just keep your stuff in a uh, kind of a bank situation and hopefully be able to combine things to ship to you. That bill's had a rough life, really stained. This has been typical with these notes that are stamped Loomis. We're not having a very many finds, but we've had some good finds. Three star notes, right on par with that. With the masters going on, I guess par is a good thing to say. I look forward to watching the last day of the Masters tomorrow. That and working on shipping from my uh, auction today is uh, my goals for tomorrow. All right, we got another hundred notes here. Before we do that, let me show you some of the examples of what we have been finding over the last couple months. We've only been doing this for about three months, searching uh, serial numbers for fancy numbers or star notes. This is considered to be a low serial number. Any bill that starts with four zeros or more is a low serial number. And low serial numbers are commanding a premium above face value. This note is one of only two I found like this. It's called a binary note. It only has two numbers in the serial number. Uh, threes, nines, and that's it. 333-93993 and the binary notes are going for around $20 on eBay right now. If you never find one with a solid number all the way across, all threes, you might have something worth $100 or more. And they're out there. This is a cool note. It's got a lot of things going for it. It's got five fives consecutive. Anything with at least five in a row consecutive carries a value. It's also a trinary note. It's only got fives, threes, and a nine in the serial number. It also, if you look at the last three in the serial number, it is raised up above the rest of the numbers in the serial number. We call that an odometer or a gas pump note, and that does make it carry a little extra value. And I talked about that over ink number a while ago. That first five is li uh, slightly over inked, so that uh, raises the value just a little bit. This note's called a repeater. It's not exactly creatively named, but it is worth quite a bit over face value. 3042, 3042. You like to find that kind of bill. Uh, this is called a broken ladder. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, all bills have eight numbers in the serial number. When you have each of them only once and in order, it would be called a ladder. You have them all but not in order. It's called a broken ladder, and this has a nice value above face value as well. If I've missed anyone that popped into the chat, I'm sorry. If you're here for the first time and not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously, and it's free to you. And we do put out daily content, short videos on coin hunting every single day, live stream on either coin hunting or uh, serial numbers. We did a five hour stream earlier today on half dollar coin hunting and an auction. Now I'm doing the live stream on dollars. It's another low serial number, four zeros, 97.50, making it a keeper. It's a note that I find uh, really interesting 80, 70, 70, 80. Uh, this is called a bookend note. Starts with 80, ends with 80. It's got the 70, 70 in the middle. Only has three numbers, eight, zero, and seven in the serial number, making it a trinary note, and it's also considered an alternating zero note. So that one has a little extra value. 
This one's called a birth date note and a headstone note. But first, a birth date note. May 20th of 1957. Were you born May 20th of 1957? Um, birth date notes have gone crazy in value on uh, eBay right now. They're going for $10, $20 or even more. Um, also, this is known as a headstone note. Born in 1957, deceased in the year 2005. It's collectible for both ways. This is probably the most valuable note that we've ever found. 15799751. You might be saying, what's that? What's so special about that? Um, I don't know, Joel. I, I've heard the rumor that, uh, oh, I missed who subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I missed it. That uh, mansions, that his signature was so bad they made him print it. I'm not sure. I've never seen another one that's printed, though. It's a good question. Uh, someone in our chat actually pointed this one out to me. It's called a, uh, a radar or a palindrome note. 1579-9751. It reads the same front to back and back to front. In the case of this bill, it also has a B to start it and a B to end it. I've come to call this a super radar or super palindrome note. B1579. B1579. This one has a block of five sevens in a row. Unfortunately, this bill's not in very good shape, but sevens are one of the most sought after numbers that you can find, so that one has some additional value. And then we're always looking at uh, for star notes. Star notes are printed as a replacement note for damaged or misprinted bills, and they carry a value above face value. One as crispy as this, going for double face value on eBay. So, let me show you talking about signatures on the bills. This bill, we always look at the date. This is a 1963 B-Series note, and it's signed by Joseph W. Barr, making it a Barr note. Joseph Barr was only the Secretary of Treasury for 28 days, and bills with his signature carry a nice premium. Now, I'm going to leave one down here for a minute, and I'm going to run to the little boy's room, and I'm going to let you look at this one. This is the first ever... Uh, binary note that I found and I consider whoa where'd that come from uh, I consider that uh, to be my Hawaii 5 note my Hawaii 5 note so I will be right back Thanks for letting me take a little break. That is a binary note. Only two numbers in the serial number. Fives and zeros. And that note carries a value of around $20. Alright. I've got two straps left. Two straps left to search. $200 more to search to see what kind of goodness we can find. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard too, that his signature, and I, my signature is terrible, so I can't talk, but uh, his signature is uh, not very nice, so uh, he printed it instead. You know, our kids now, my grandkids that are in school, they don't teach them cursive anymore, so they print everything. And 
Hudson and Rhett have had people ask for their autograph before when we go to coin shows and uh, they don't know how to sign anything so they just print their name which who cares I mean but uh, it's interesting that people don't know how to sign Jack Gear just subscribed thank you Jack and welcome to the Paul Spur Time family we're glad to have you we are searching $501 bills looking for star notes and fancy serial numbers we are through the first 300 I am organizing this next hundred to search because they're going in 10 million different directions here. As soon as I get them going all in the same direction, we will start searching them. Nice to see a bunch that are going the same direction and see if we can find anything else. We have uh, three star notes so far out of three straps. We have a couple of birth date notes. One of my star notes blew under the other pile while I was gone. Trying to trick me. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, for sure, Eric, for sure. Hello, Willie Billy, good to see you. Thank you, Jesse. Get a good night's sleep, my friend. Son is trying to learn cursive. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's just something that's a, a lost skill, kind of like letter writing. People just don't write letters anymore. I miss my grandmother who passed away a few years ago. She used to always write me letters. One of the very few people that did. People just don't do it anymore. It's too easy to send a text, make a phone call, send an email. Which in a lot of ways is better. But the uh, personal touch of a uh, nice handwritten letter from a loved one, uh, that's special. That is special. I am looking here at the date. If you're looking for anything older than 2000, I'm looking here where that letter is, looking for a star, and I'm looking here for a fancy serial number. Something that might be worth more than face value. And we pluck those out and hang on to them. We usually average over one star note per strap. We have found three in the first three straps tonight. So we'll see if we can continue that pace. We've got this strap of 100 and one more in tonight's hunt. And then at the end of this stream, which we're about well, maybe 20, 30 minutes away from, I will uh, give away our nicest find of the night, which right now would be a crispy star note, which I'm going to upgrade instead. If that remains our nicest find, I'll upgrade that to uh, a silver certificate out of my uh, giveaway stack. Because everyone loves silver certificates. If I ever find one during a dollar search, I'll probably pass out and fall out of my chair. But it is possible if you don't know what a star note is don't know what a star note is this is a, a star note if you don't know what a silver certificate is it says silver certificate right at the top it's got uh, the numbers in blue it's got a blue seal this is 1957 and it says on it one dollar in silver payable to the bear on demand those are worth five dollars plus in the shape that that one's in we'll be giving one of those away unless I find something better at the end of the stream you do have to be 18 years of age or older or 13 years of age uh, with parental permission to be eligible and we're going to give something away most streams I'm going to try to give away something because if I give away something I find in the strap my cost is only a dollar yeah, it may be worth 50 but my cost is only a dollar. 8233-8880. Almost a trinary note, but not quite. We didn't need that two in there. for a find. Come on. 
If you are here for the first time and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously and it doesn't cost you a thing. It's free today. It'll also be free tomorrow, but if you're already here today, it'd be a good time to do it. We put out a bunch of content, daily uh, short videos on uh, coin hunting, and daily live streams on either coin hunting or on uh, currency searching. I think we got a trinary. Three six 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 two two three six. Only using the number six threes and twos. That is considered a trinary note. Only using three numbers in the serial number. That does carry about a dollar fifty value on eBay right now. So we will hang on to that one. I think I've got a stack for those over here somewhere. It'd been better if it only had two numbers making up the serial number. But we do keep trinaries as well. I've only found two binaries ever. I'm ready for my third. I'm ready for my third. I passed up that birthday note. That seems like it might be a pretty uh, a good date, in Ohio at least. Phyllis, I'll go back through after the end of the stream and I'll pull that out. Thank you for telling me. I was not familiar with that date. Now, what do you know about December 20th of the year 5293? Have you done any time travel? I haven't. My dad had awesome handwriting and could say the alphabet backwards faster than I can say it forwards. Very interesting talents. January 24th of 1769. Hmm. Right before we became a country. I'm going to set that one aside and I'm going to look up that date to see if it has any significance. Might be worth keeping. I need Phyllis on my research department. That's why it's nice to do this with my grandsons because one of us can be searching, the other one can be over there bebopping on the uh, computer looking stuff up. And the faster you look something up on the computer, uh, the quicker we look. A lot of people won't search dollar bills or dimes, several things live, because uh, it's not the easiest thing to do is to sit here and talk and look and figure out numbers and they'll make mistakes and I do all the time and my uh, people in the chat my members subscribers will call it out to me and I'll go back and find it but uh, a lot of people you know it's a lot easier to come across as an expert if I can just be looking through these find a bill google it find out everything about it and then come back and tell you all about it I look a lot smarter and more of an expert on coins and dollars than I really am that way. And uh, I do videos as well, and it is a lot easier format, a lot less pressure to uh, do. But uh, we are doing this new uh, vertical live stream format because it enables us to reach more new people and introduce this great hobby to them. Because I'm... Uh, fairly certain that awareness is the major problem why people don't know about this hobby of coin hunting and dollar bill searching and then access to find to have the dollars or the coins to search how do you do that and it is possible hey look there with just a couple of notes left in the uh, strap we've got to find I went through 10 customer quarter rolls. I found 14 bicentennials. I love bicentennial quarters. The reverse of a bicentennial quarter is one of my favorite coins. Uh, D's, but no DD, DD blob on the Bessie Coleman. And a 1964 silver. Oh, man. I can't find silver quarters to save my life. Congratulations, though. Congratulations. Kurt just posted one on eBay. Cool. Hello, Teach. Good to see you. We got a star note. 
So when we find a star note, we know that this bill was printed to uh, replace damaged bills and misprinted bills. And these have become highly collectible. So when we find one, we go over to this website. It's called MyCurrencyCollection.com. And they have a star note lookup on it. And we key in the denomination and the year. This one happens to also be a 2017. It happens to also be a K. 0266-9411. Now most star notes are printed in runs of 3.2 million. So when we pop this up, we're going to look for a, a print run of less than 3.2 million. And unfortunately, it is a, a, a print run of 3.2 million, which is what we would expect, but that makes it less rare as a star note. Now that doesn't hurt the value of this note at all, it just doesn't make it worth additional money above being a star note. This one is nice and crispy in really good shape. Uh, this bill on eBay right now is worth at least $2 and that is our fourth star note and we're in our fourth strap. We're almost at the end of our fourth strap. We are going to search five straps so we got one more strap of 100 to go and then we're going to give away either our best find of the night or we are going to give away uh, a, a silver certificate. Right now it would be a silver certificate would have more value than anything I have found. But we've got another hundred to look at. So we will see what we come up with. I'm going to go through these and make sure they're all facing in the same direction so that uh, it's easier for me to search, easier for you to watch because for some reason they don't put them all in the same direction anymore. I tell the story, I was a cashier at Walmart when I was uh, 18 years old back in 1983 going to college and when I started the cash office clerk told me that uh, it was important to keep my cash drawer neat and organized and all the bills facing up and facing in the same direction. Well, I really didn't assume that was an optional program, and I wanted to stay employed, so I had the best-looking cash drawer probably in the house. And I, to be honest, was a little scared of the cash office lady. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't know when that stopped being a thing, but obviously it's not a thing anymore. These come from the Federal Reserve, and they are all kinds of messed up. I know, hard to imagine a government branch messing anything up, but I'm told it happens. All right, we've got them all going the same direction. That's good. <laughs> hey, Snoop Dogg, if you can double your money, my friend, and it doesn't take a half hour to research it, um, I'll take double my money any day of the week, and you may pop one worth $20 or $50, which is uh, worth even a lot more. Or there's some that are worth thousands. July 4th of 1664, April 7th of 1664, I will research that one. I don't have any idea if those are uh, special dates in our history. We are in our last $100 that we are going to search tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with a live search on something and a uh, short video on coin hunting uh, tomorrow evening. Probably be a wheat penny hunt tomorrow evening. Will be a penny hunt and a wheat penny that I found. Oh, look there. Upside down star note. Oh, the rare, rare upside down star note. Yeah, I can't find silver quarters. I, I am cursed on silver quarters. Another star note. That means it's printed as a replacement note um, for damaged, misprinted bills. So when we find one of those, we pop over here, and it doesn't take a half hour. We go over here immediately to the star note lookup page. And if I hit that, you can see it. We key in the date, and if I can read it. 2013 is the year. We key in the 2013 year. 
we key in the serial number A03496. Five eight three. Most of these are printed in run size of 3.2 million. We're looking for a run size below 3.2 million. Let's see. Ah, uh, 3.2 million again. And again, that's to be expected. So it's not any more rare than the basic star note. <clears throat> but the basic star note is carrying a value of $2 on eBay. So we'll hang on to that. And that is our fifth one of the night, averaging one per strap. The Federal Reserve aren't federal employees? I don't know about that, Willie Billy. I thought they were federal employees. I could be totally wrong. I am not an expert. But I thought they were federal employees. But I could be wrong. You may have just taught me something. So I know the Federal Reserve is part of the government and federal employees, but I don't know about the printing facilities in Washington, D.C. and uh, <clears throat> Fort Worth, Texas, the two places that bills are printed in the United States. I would have to do some research on it. And I don't believe you would lead me astray. Now those two are consecutive serial numbers, 807 and 808, but there's nothing fancy about the bills, so that doesn't bring any additional value, if they'd been star notes with consecutive serial numbers, it would be more valuable. <clears throat> Forgive me, i got a frog in my throat. My allergies have been driving me crazy. We have had unseasonably warm weather here in northwest Arkansas. And we finally got a little rain yesterday. <clears throat> in desperate need of more rain to knock all the allergens out of the trees and the pollen off of everything. Uh, I do look for web notes. Uh, any bill that's a uh, 19, <coughs> excuse me, 95, 1993, or 1988 A series. I will search and see if it's a web note. Look on the back of it. Web notes are bills that were, <coughs> excuse me. Web notes were notes that were printed on rolls of paper instead of sheets of paper in those three years. That's a way over-inked for, but it's again on a lousy bill, so we won't keep it. Well, they're probably right, Willie Billy. I'll look it up later tonight, but you're probably right. You may have just taught me something. I guess I just made the assumption that we wouldn't let uh, an outside company print our money, but what do I know? What do I know? Yeah, it was an experimental process. Why they did it over several years, I do not know. Um, but I do know if you find one, they're worth more value, which is why you always want to look at this date down here to see if it's uh, one of those years. Or some older notes, just for the fact that they're older, carry a uh, value above face value. All right, we're about halfway through our last strap. We will have searched $501 bills when we get through this strap. Then we're going to do a giveaway. Somebody that's here at the end of the stream is going to win. It's looking like a silver certificate. You do have to be 18 years of age or older or 13 years of age or older with parental permission. Due to YouTube, YouTube rules and COPPA laws, job protection laws, very important laws. Can we get one more find? One more find. 2727, seven, right in the middle. That doesn't mean anything. There's another star note. Our sixth star note of the night, G017 64675, nothing fancy about the serial number, but the star in and of itself makes it a replacement note, and uh, those were usually printed in runs of 3.2 million, and they have become highly collectible, so when we find one, we go over to this website called mycurrencycollection.com, the $1 is already keyed in, 
This is a 2021 printed note. You key in the entire serial number off the bill, including the star G017 64 six seven five star and we're looking for a number below 3.2 million on the print run now unfortunately as usual it's a 3.2 million run i have found some with only 250,000 run size or 500,000 run size and when you find those it makes them more valuable but when it is a run of 3.2 million that doesn't hurt the value of the star note at all it just doesn't wait make it worth any additional money I have not yet, Squire. Um, there is a second serial number on the front of the bill, and as I'm going through, I glance at them to make sure they match. If you do find one with mismatched numbers, uh, that would have some value. 666-72333. Great start, great ending, lousy middle. Not worth anything. Uh, well, it's worth a dollar. It's worth a dollar. Not worth anything extra. I haven't found any old, well, old notes this evening. We've got probably 15 bills left here to search. And then we're going to give away a prize. And try to get some Saturday night, Sunday morning sleep. 5454-5797. Five, four, five, four, five, seven, seven. Good start, lousy finish. Oh, hello. Boy, that was almost our third ever binary note. Look at that one. 4565, 6565. Six, five, six, five. Wow, 6565. Six, if that had been 6565, 6565, that would have been a binary note, a uh, repeater. It would have been a lot of things. As is, this is a trinary note, only using the numbers 4, 5, and 6 in the serial number. So very, very close to being a binary note, only using two numbers in the serial number. But that first four messes it up a little bit. But that is one we keep. These are going for $1.50 or more on uh, YouTube right now. Not YouTube, on eBay right now. See what happens when you talk and think at the same time. Yeah, that is correct, Willie Billy. They send them out to the, uh, the uh, Federal Reserve Banks. Like, for example, this one is Dallas. This one is New York. That's what the first letter stands for. How an E became New York, I don't know. Another trinary note. 9066-6099. Only sixes, zeros, and nines. Another trinary note. We will hang on to that one for sure. It's our third trinary note of the night. To go with six star notes, uh, a couple quads, a couple birthday notes. Been a good hunt. Can we find one more? We got less than 10 left to go. One more find for the road. That would be nice. A few left. Come on. Let me get lucky. 11-13 of 1925. Well, there's a birthday note. November 13th of 1925. Now, they're almost 100 years old. They're 98 years old. But maybe you have a parent or a grandparent born November 13th of 1925. If you do, these silly things are going for $10, $20, or even more on eBay for birth date notes. People are wanting to have a dollar with their birth date on it. So we hang on to all of those. And this will be the last note we searched tonight. And it is nothing. So we have searched $500 of $1 bills. We are now going to do a giveaway. Since the nicest thing I found is not worth as much as this, this is what we're going to give away. We're going to give away a silver certificate. This one was printed in 1957. They used blue ink for the seal and blue ink for the number. 
It says $1 in silver, payable to the bear on demand. I bought this from the company Atmex, who we're partnered with, and uh, they uh, grade it very good to very fine. This bill has a $5 plus value. So let me go over here and I'm going to start the giveaway. And again, for the giveaway, you have to be 18 years of age or older or 13 years of age or older with parental permission. You should get a message that a uh, gall has started and you need to type in exclamation G-A-W, exclamation G-A-W to enter the giveaway. And you have three minutes to enter, exclamation G-A-W. And uh, we will let the computer pick a winner. And I, you will you have to email me and give me your shipping address so I know where to send it. But I'm going to send you a uh, 1957 silver certificate. Maybe it's your first. If so, these are cool to collect and uh, stick on the shelf. Great conversation piece. The reverse is pretty much the same, but the color of the reverse is just a little bit different than today's $1 bills. And uh, silver certificates are a great fun thing to collect. I uh, have never found one during one of my dollar bill hunts. If I ever do, I'll probably fall on the floor out of my chair and be very, very happy that I found one. If you are here for the first time and you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. We do put out daily content, uh, daily short videos on coin hunting, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, or half dollars. I also do a daily live stream like we're doing right now, either on coins or on uh, fancy serial number star note searches. Uh, we also do major streams every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central, every Friday at noon Central where we not only search $501 bills for fancy serial numbers, we also search a $250 box of dimes looking for silver dimes. We search a $500 box of half dollars looking for silver half dollars, proofs, errors, varieties, commemoratives, colorized coins, stickered coins, magic coins, um, DDOs, DDRs, not intended for circulation coins, all sorts of things you can find in a half dollar box of coins. Right now though, you need to enter exclamation G-A-W to get entered. There are only nine people entered. Only nine people out of 50 some watching that want to win a silver certificate. Come on, type in exclamation G-A-W or maybe we got a lot of youngsters in. I don't know. I don't know, but someone's gonna win it. So it might as well be you. You got to type exclamation G A W Passion Dre sixty one and welcome to the channel. Hello, Stephen. Uh, yeah, you don't run into these very often. I buy them and use them as give giveaways. Um, I buy them from uh, Atmex, largest supplier of coins and coin supplies in the U S. And they happen to be partners of ours, and uh, they help us give coins out to kids at coin shows and once a month. In our Saturday stream, once a month, we donate all our boxes to an adult watching our stream with someone 18 years of age or younger. We search the box for them. They get all the fines out of the box. We also send them some collection kits of coins and uh, trying to get some youngsters uh, involved in this hobby. Triplelog187781, thanks for subscribing and welcome to the Paul Spare Time family. We appreciate you. Uh, the way you become eligible, I guess I better keep it on the clock here. I'm going to open it back up for just while I'm talking. You still have time to put in exclamation G-A-W right now. Exclamation G-A-W to enter the contest. <coughs> um, you can send me an email and I will type in or... Uh, Dad Hunts Coins, would you type in exclamation email so my email pops up? If you're ever interested in getting your uh, child or grandchild, niece or nephew, uh, involved in one of our free coin hunts with you, send me an email, tell you, hey, my name's Bob, my son's name is Bobby Jr., and he's 13, and he would love to uh, have a free uh, half dollar hunt with you guys and get some of the free coins. 
and I will put you on the wait list and uh, you all you have to do then is be present on a Saturday when we do the stream and we'll work out the date with you in advance and we will do that for you. We do that once a month. Uh, again, Atmex is uh, co-sponsoring that event with us and they'll be starting to hand out some goodies during that event soon, I think. There's my email. Thank you guys very much. If you want to send me an email, get on that list. All right, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to show you the screen. I am going to close the entries. Only 10 entries out of 50 people. That's a little weird, but that's okay. I'm going to close the entries. Good luck to the 10 of you. You got really good odds of winning. The winner of the silver certificate is... Teacher 1388. Congratulations, teacher. You know the drill. You need to send me an email, claim your prize, and give me your shipping address down there Texas way, and I will ship you your silver certificate. Congrats, teach. All right, let's complete that. Let's go back over here to this. Let's go back over here to this. All right, well, that's yours now, teach. That is your silver certificate. Congratulations. Yeah, there's. I've never run into anyone that didn't like a silver certificate. That's why I think they're really good thing to give away. The price is manageable on them, and I can ship it in an envelope to you with just a stamp. It doesn't cost me $4 to ship it to you, although it's getting close to a dollar. So, hey, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it very much for you all hanging with me tonight. This should have been around an hour and 30 minutes. It was an hour and 37 minutes. Uh, I'll be back probably live streaming my last $501 bills I have to search for the week uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening at some point. Um, and I'll be streaming every day next week. Uh, that's the plan anyway. I do have to work on shipping after today. We had an auction and we had a couple of donators, so i got a lot of shipping to do, so I'll be working on that tomorrow as well. So, a.k.a. Brett, good to see you, my friend. Uh, you all have a great night. Please try and get some sleep. I'm going to do the same. And have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you again soon when Paul has more spare time. God bless and good night, all.